Hi, my name is Jory Simons, and I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Forrest Gump knew it, and we all experience it. Shit happens. Job or financial frustrations, relationship or family issues, accidents, illness, the list goes on. I don't need to convince you that shit happens. You already know that. And if you're like me and virtually everyone I know, it seems like there's a lot more of it happening lately. But do you know why shit happens? And what can be done to change it? In my book, called The F Factor, From Shit to Shift, I explain why shit happens and what to do to create a huge shift to a more satisfying life. I'll give you a preview of some of this information in a bit. But first, why do I use the word shit? Why not stuff or another benign euphemism? Mainly because shit fits. It's the stuff in life that stinks, the stuff we want to cover up, hide, not look at, not deal with, and definitely don't want our face shoved in. But the thing about shit is this. If we don't deal with it, it simply gets piled higher and deeper. I know this from personal experience. I didn't deal with my shit for a long time, and it kept piling up until that's all there was, and my life stank. In the book, I explain how I turned that shit into fertilizer. Anyone can take the same steps that I did to make the shift to experience life as much more rich, fertile, and satisfying. I explain in detail what the steps are and how to follow them. I want to give you a sample of some of that information so that you can begin to make the shift in your life right now. So, why does shit happen? The short answer is this. The crappy things that happen to us are our custom-designed wake-up calls. On an energetic level, we each create the specific situations we need to wake us up, to enable us to move from being powerless into being powerful. The longer answer is in the book. And the F factor? The F is what makes the difference. The F is how to change shit to shift. And in the book, you'll read in detail about the steps. There are three steps you can begin to work on right now. One, face it. Don't deny or cover up your shit. Why? Because not facing it allows the shit to pile up and can ultimately lead to things like addictions and illness. Two, figure out what it means. There's a reason the shit is there. Figure out what it's trying to wake you up to and it won't have to pile up. And three, feel it. Feel the pain of whatever it is that is underlying the situation, whether it's the pain of abandonment, betrayal, grief, loss, or whatever. This step is the one most of us try to avoid, but in truth is the biggest single thing we can do to shift our shit. I have found that the ultimate reward of a rich, full life is absolutely worth what I went through to feel it. I believe so strongly in the power of shift that I want to share what I've learned and help others to shift their lives. I've created a website at www.thepowerofshift.com where even before the book is published, you'll be able to find more information about the things I've talked about here. After the book is published, you'll be able to access exercises and activities to personalize the information to your life and make the shift more easily and more quickly. You can also follow what's going on through my Facebook and Twitter accounts. The good news of my book is that not only does shit happen, but shift happens. If you think this book should be published, please vote for me, and I'd be really grateful if you would ask your friends to do the same. Together, we can shift a lot of shit. Thank you.